Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from Chirpent Wizard. If you like my channel, subscribe. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature in Microsoft List uh, or Sharepoint List and let me show you what it is. So I'm going to show you the current uh, situation and then what I've changed. So if I go to the home page of a team site and create a list and let's choose the issue tracker just to make it uh, faster. So I can choose for either blank or existing or I can choose an issue tracker. And actually I can keep it like this. And what you'll see is actually I have more, lots of columns, issue, issue description, but when I scroll to the right, um, I lose actually uh, exactly what is the first column. So if I enter here some information and uh, fill it out, it doesn't matter, and I will save it, you will see that when I scroll, I no longer see the issue, uh, the first column. Now, if I edit in grid view, you will see that the first column is frozen, just like in Excel, and uh, but it's only existing in the edit in grid view. Now I'll show you the new feature that is coming to SharePoint. So I'm on a different site that has the feature activated. And now I will create a new, um, a new list. Just a second. By mistake, I, I chose a, a library, so I'll choose the list. And let's choose again the issue tracker. And we will use the template and give a name. And now let's see what's going to happen. So by default, there's no data here, so we will not see any change. But even, even now, now you see when we're not in edit and grid view, the first column is uh, keeps. So let's some, some enter some information. Let's call it uh, issue one, and we'll put here some text. And we will scroll down and choose a priority. And the rest is uh, obvious. So now you see actually that when I sc scroll, also in uh, not in grid view, the first column is uh, frozen. So that's good. But what happens if I want not the first column to be uh, shown? So let's uh, let's do a test. Let's take, for instance, the priority, and we can actually drag it to be the first one. So now when we will scroll, actually the priority is the leading one and we will always uh, see it here. Okay, but let's say by default, usually the first column is the title, but sometimes we don't want to use the title. We want to hide it. So let's see what happens. So if I go anywhere here and I choose to add and hide, I can, um, I see the title, let's say, assuming the issue is the title. Yep. Yeah. So, oh, let's say, yeah, let's just actually create a list and that will make it easier for you to understand. So we'll create a blank list and keep it just with the title, but we will need uh, multiple uh, columns. So let's call this demo and we will create a um, first column is by default the title. We can change it. Let's add some other columns. So we'll call this a uh, choice one. This goes test one and let's add another column, which is test two. 
And the, the idea is to see what happens if I hide the title. The three. You need to have enough columns in, in order that this uh, frozen uh, feature uh, will be available. So you see the toolbar is not yet there. So we will create the last one. Hopefully this will help us uh, to demonstrate what's happening. So you see actually that now we have a scroll down. Let's create one more, one more. Just so it, it makes us a better experience. So you see the title is here and you see it also actually is very wide. Uh, you can maybe adjust it, but uh, by default it's like that. Now let's try to hide this title. And from the view. And now what will happen is, okay, there's not enough columns, but let's to, to show the frozen. So this, let's add one more. And you see actually that what do we see? We need to add another column. Here we go. And what we see is actually that the first column, which is here, will be. And if we arrange it, we can choose a different column, then this will be. Now, uh, in most cases, it will be very nice. But in some cases, um, I think that Microsoft needs to provide the feature if to activate it, yes or not. Because sometimes you want the first column to be leading, and other times you don't want to use it. And um, maybe uh, it would be helpful to, to have a feature. Now, if you remember, once when you would scroll uh, down, then uh, you wouldn't see the headers. Uh, now, in big lists, actually, you always see the header, and that's important. So let me know what you think about this feature. And if you like it, give me some comments, give me some likes, and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.